You obviously mm -hmm. tried it. Okay. Yeah. Tip number five is to buy a bug it's two, spray. Two, four. Hey, God. We just went <laughs> One. I was looking at it when I was um, talking. Oh, was you? Should we just do that again? Nah, man. If I look cross side, I look. <laughs> uh, right. Different regulations. Different regulations for different occasions. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. 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 You should say that bit. What you want? Yeah. What you feel want? <laughs> now, without no further ado, let's, let's jump in. Jump yeah. Let's it. try that. Okay. 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 So who goes first? In today's video, we're gonna go over our top ten. Yeah. In this video. We're going to go over our top 10 favourite tips on things to do before going to Jamaica. Now, before we do that, please like and subscribe to this video. Because it would mean so much to us. Now, without further ado, let's dive into it. <sighs> tip number one, in a nutshell, is to make sure you book with a certified company. I've known people that have booked with companies that don't actually do any flights. So if you book with a company that's not with the direct airline, British Airways, American Airlines, um, make sure that they're ATOL protected, which is a regulation that has been set up for UK travelers to make sure that your um, funds are looked after in case anything happens. That's tip number one, guys. In tip number two, in Jamaica, you can use Jamaican dollars or US dollars. And I think you should take some of um, Jamaican dollars and US dollars. It is a bit harder to get Jamaican dollars out uh, from the UK anyway. Um, but a lot of the locals, they do, they, they all take American dollars and they, they prefer it, especially for doing excursions. So I would recommend to take US dollars yeah. and also you should have a credit card with you. Make sure your bank allows you to make international transactions. I have a, an account that doesn't charge. So you can, um, you can do a bit of research if your bank offers those services as well. I use Santander and um, I'll try and get the uh, name of the card up. I think it's called Santander Zero. So there's, there's zero international um, charges, charges, interest and all of that stuff. So, um, you know, they're, they're, they're happy, I'm happy, mm. everyone's happy. So, um, yeah, a lot of places take card. So you can choose, bring card, bring cash and you're all good. I mean, there's some cards where some people don't have um, credit cards zero. So you can use your credit cards and use that at the ATM, but you will get charged. Or yeah. about five pounds or five dollars depending on what country you're in tip number three is to drink plenty of water mm -hmm. now when you're in the uk sometimes some people don't like to drink too much water it's usually cold um the weather but th the interesting thing about jamaica is because it's so hot when you drink water it actually feels different because your body has sweat and lost a lot of water anyway mm. so it wants to replace what it has already lost so drinking water feels so refreshing mm. and um, lifts you up like it wakes you up because mm. you do get a bit tired from the sun which is um, good for vitamin d but drink plenty of water when you're when you're there because you you might go for a walk somewhere and um, struggle to find a shop to just you know, um, hydrate yourself. Drink plenty of water, bottled water from the shops. From the shop. Tip number four, make sure you buy a bug spray. Now there's a lot of mosquitoes in Jamaica and they love your body. They tend to love my skin. They always suck my blood every night. I always get spots. But guys, do make sure that you spray yourself with a bug spray, whether it's the morning, the afternoon or the evening even before going to bed now they they apparently say if you've got sweet blood and you have a lot of sugary stuff mm -hmm. then they bite you more i don't know how true it is but um that might be something to bear in mind 
what I also say is depending on where you're staying mm. is would affect. Um, I don't know what area is the most most mosquitoes. It's more village. If you more village you go um, with surrounding trees, you're gonna get more mosquitoes. But um, if you stay in like a um, hotel that's um, well mm. maintained, well maintained, it has all the like right netting. Mm -hmm. they you won't experience yeah. much yeah. inside your room. You wouldn't experience much. So as much as there is outside to bring the bug spray when you're out, you might be just sitting down, for example. Um, bug spray definitely. Then when you're at home, sometimes you are okay. Mm. Yes, and they do provide, some hotels, they provide uh, mosquito nets. So when you're sleeping, you can put the net around your bed so you won't get bit. Mm. Very good. So this is tip number five, guys. Now, in Jamaica, you usually get a, a, a mustard sort of experience. What I mean by that is either you love it or you hate it. As an outsider. Okay. Now, Sarah, isn't from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Do you hate it or love it? Oh, I love it. It's like my second home to me. So there you go. So, yeah. And, and the mustard idea is uh is the cultural shock. Now because Sarah lives with a Jamaican, she understands Jamaican. Jamaicans can be quite direct. Now it's not rude. They just um they just go straight to the point. Mm. So sometimes the way that they talk may make you feel a bit uncomfortable because they're direct but they're, they're they're just trying to be nice the other cultural shock is the way that they drive they do drive very fast because they're comfortable in their own country and um it can feel a bit dangerous it can feel a bit scary but they're just being jamaican <laughs> one thing i would like to add is another culture shock is going on public transport when you take the bus, you're not going to be seated by yourself or there's not going to be um, five people. You'll be expecting to see a lot of people. Even if you are catching, taking, even if you are taking a taxi, mm. the ride is not just for you. They will be picking other people up as well on your journey. So that's another yeah. tip to add there. Yeah, it might be in a car where you say, big man, Take me down the road, yeah. past two trees and past the coconut there. And on your journey, it might be be you, like us two in the car. Mm -hmm. But um, when he gets to one corner and someone like throw up their hand because they're going the same way, yeah. um, they will jump in the car as well. So again, culture shock. They're not trying to like, you know, rob you or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But they do stop if you're in a taxi and um pick up other passengers do you know why you can get around that though mm. by telling the taxi man mm. look you know i'm gonna pay a bit more yeah exactly to um keep this with just like me and my partner or my mm. family mm. and take us there please and they they will sort that out for you so you can pay a bit more but the um the starting or the the normal fare price mm. is included with other people. Yeah. Tip number six, once you arrive at the airport, get yourself a Jamaican SIM card. If you used to use your own SIM card, um, it will be more expensive, the package will be expensive, but if you use the Jamaican SIM card, it will be cheaper. Now, you don't need to worry about setting it up for yourself because they'll set it up for you. You, you can get the SIM card in other places um, than the airport in other places that are tourist attraction -y, Montego Bay, Ochi um, but the longer you're offline is the longer you're missing you know from family, friends um, or you might need to contact your, your host wherever you're staying or you might need some directions mm. you know um, so the longer you're offline the longer you're missing so don't go missing. Stay, Stay online. online. Tip number seven now. Now, this is about um, charging up your phones, whatever devices that you're using to take over, like power banks. A lot of people take power banks. 
Um, that's actually a tip actually. I recommend taking a power bank. It, if you're going to be away for, for some time, we always take power banks mm. out, mm. charge them up um, in the morning or at night. Yeah, before. And, um, you know, when you're out and about, you don't have to worry about um, your, your phone dying. Yeah. But which connection to use what sockets do they use mm. they use the same sockets you will find in uh, america and in, canada in um, the us so it's like the two pin um sockets that they use so get an adapter to connect so you can stay um connected connected be on the phone and um and keep everything charged up tip number seven tip number eight make sure you have sunscreen now some people they don't need sunscreen but i do believe that if you're coming from a country abroad um it's wise that you bring sunscreen just because you don't want to get burnt in the sun yes i actually get burnt <laughs> i get burnt and uh, it's weird because i never used to but um i first got burnt i think in a european country <laughs> and um, but I get burnt in Jamaica. It, it happens on my neck. My neck um, starts to peel. So I actually use a powder. Um, I actually um, maybe get um, the picture of the powder because there are certain ones that work better. And this was the only thing that worked for me. Um, once you was burnt, you have to use powder to kind of um, contain it. Mm. But the sunscreen is really important. Um, so you, yeah, take the sunscreen along with you to stay ahead of being burnt like me um <laughs> tip number eight guys right guys i've got a question tip number nine where can you exchange your money where can you exchange your money so we spoke about bringing some like emergency cash when when we went we didn't have too much but we used the um cash machine one when we were there to mm -hmm. draw some money out we did get charged a little, but not too much. So um, it, it was very fair. I was happy with it. Now, before I went, I tried to exchange in the UK, but they um, said that there was, the Jamaican dollar was um, a, like a, a scarce currency that was like on the brink of um, going extinct. So they didn't actually have any Jamaican dollars in the UK at the time. Um, but whatever country you go to, I recommend to exchange in the country, not in the airport, but once you go further in, um, again, if you're staying at Airbnb and you've got a host, ask them because they'll know the best places to go. Um, the hotels probably won't be as helpful, um, but you could even speak to a local. The, the more tourist attraction, area you go to the more the the price is going to be quite high so try to go somewhere where the locals are so you can get better rates and again you can still use your credit cards or your bank cards at the atm and you can also exchange um, your money from there as well but you will get charged for it our tenth and last tip is about trying different things now you can try different food you can try different experiences we really uh, recommend to take in the culture because there's a lot of different things to do that you won't get in other places now in our next video we dive deeper into this so if you're interested make sure you check out our next video of our top 10 best things to do in Jamaica and we'll see you on the other side if you like and subscribe like and subscribe it means a lot to us thank you Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I think at the end of videos, we should put like a skip, like, you know what I mean? Like yeah, we'll do that. That's why I changed my voice. Mm, 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 mm. Right, so... My when can you Could exchange you... your money? Right. Different foods you wouldn't okay. usually take. They, they say like... A... Tip number four. Yeah. Wait, what was my tip? Bugs spray. Oh, yeah.